was a little bit of a crisis in the first period here this evening. The bodyguard that looked after Don in the opening tonight uh, was a young fan you pulled out of the crowd who had a pass, standing room only, and lost his place. Uh, what did him you do to help him out? Him and his buddies come down. I had to get him ringside seats. The guards love me here anyhow. Well, you handled that, and I'm glad you did. Uh, and he was pretty good in his role, too. Might have a replacement in mind. What about the game? Well, now, why does the Boston Bruins play like this right from the very start? They're out there hitting, play like Boston Bruins. I'd like to ask the crowd why Byers wasn't in here. He's playing a great game. Super Peterson. And it's funny how the Oilers, they can play any game you want. You want to play rough, they'll play rough. You want to skate. They remind me of the Montreal Canadiens in the 70s. Do you think that Byers being out of the lineup would bother Cam Neely and uh, that they're such good pals? Absolutely. They get ready for the game. They're going down. He's, I don't care. I was talking to him the other night. He was really down. It's got to bring Cam down. I would have played him anyhow, even if he wasn't his roommate. I want to pick up on one other point, too, before we go to your videotape yes. you brought this evening, and that is Bobby Carpenter skates the yellow laces. I remember in the old days, uh, yeah. yellow wax versus white oh. cotton. What do you think? Well, you're not. I'm the old guy. But anyhow, uh, oh no, never mind the, uh, the yellow laces. He wore no socks, and that was the era when Orr, he was young, eh? I had a hockey school. I'm telling you, 90% of them, because Orr never wore socks, they never wore socks. But I have a video. It's a lot of concern about the goaltenders running, you know, getting knocked down and everything like that. We've got, I'm going to show you why. Let's throw, throw it here, Larry. Let's throw it right here. Now watch this guy come cutting in here. The goalie's here. Now watch him keep follow right through, knock him down. We got a couple more. Let's see more. Now watch him cut. See how he's cutting there? They would have never done that in the old days. See how he gives him a little shot? And now we got Flurry coming up at the other end there. Watch at the very end. There he gives him a little wangle. Now they would not do that if the nets were not uh, on those magnets. Those magnets, they're going to have to do something about them because the guys are cutting in. They have no fear at all. And uh, what happens is that they run into the goalie and they hope they hurt him. And that's, I'm sorry, that's it. Another thing on a two-on-one, I just thought of it. If you're back checking and you know it's a two-on-one, you know how you got the guy, you just take him, ram him into the goal post, and that goes off. That's it. And that's, uh, you know, it's too bad. That's the way it happens. Now, I talked to a manager about it. They said in the old days, a big defenseman, if you ran into the goalie, he'd grab you, straighten you out right now. But the pacifist, the way we are now, if the guy ever grabbed the guy, he gets seven minutes. So now it's open season on the goaltender. I thought magnets were your idea once upon a time. Yeah, I'll tell about that if it goes another The man with the magnetic personality, Don Cherry, yeah. hopes to have. That's all. More to come in Coach's Corner. <laughs> Thanks.